Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Why, hello there. Welcome back. So one of the first things tend to do in the morning is to go through comments on the video the previous day. And I saw this one by Omnigma. Omnigma. And I know that uh, they've shared more in the past. At least I believe they have or a similar name, but it feels like them. You want a conspiracy theory? Read on. This is one of the older Anunnaki ships from its vast armada. It was due for retirement, and when it first arrived, this is where they touched down. It was abandoned by them and sat there for countless millennia until rediscovered in the 18th century. Scuttled, but you can see some remains beside at regular intervals where turrets once protected it. They have fallen into decay as well as statues, humans carved on the side of it to remember their gods. U.S. government recently began testing the weather device they found inside, which explains the anomalies we saw in the news recently. And he gives a link um, to a video, which I'll, I'll show you bits of. And by the way, just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I mean, you, you say that and you give us a link. You got to click. You just got to take a peek. And it's called Bouvet Island, and uh, honestly, it, it is beautiful. Um, the water looks so pristine and kind of inviting, but you can sense how cold it is. Cindy's looking at this going, oh, looks cold. You're not daydreaming somewhere in the Caribbean. Uh, no, you know, not daydreaming the Caribbean and... At the same time, the water, just gorgeous. But look at, I mean, everywhere you look around it, you know, one of the things that hits you is uh, there's nowhere really to make a good landing. And no, no ships regularly come here. At least that's what they tell us. This is a look from above. You know, just a giant semi-pyramidal triangular shape. Uh, last night uh, we were glancing at a Star Wars uh, series and I was saying those those triangular Star Wars ships you know they just feel so evil and Anunnaki draconian don't they yeah well that's kind of the shape of this island and you have this little outcropping here not that the story that um, they gave us is is, is real but, you know, for ha-has, I, uh, I asked Cindy to please take a peek and remote view this place. Um, what do you actually get? But before um, she goes ahead and remote views it, <clears throat> I just wanted to share with you um, a couple of things. It's actually owned, claimed by Norway. Norway? Yeah, this is all the way off the coast of Antarctica. See, this is where we're talking about. And this is, well, it is kind of where it seems that, you know, uh, that energy transversed right over. Could it be that it was originating from here? Hmm. They say Bouvet Island is an island and dependency of Norway and declared an uninhabited protected nature reserve. That's such a nice little term. We're protecting nature. You can't go there because we don't want you to see any uh, any ET info that can't make it out to the public. It's a sub-Antarctic volcanic island situated in the South Atlantic Ocean at the southern end of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and is the world's most remote island. Wow, so this is it. This is the most remote island in the world. This is a perfect base for Dr. Evil. <laughs> maybe maybe it is, but when uh, my, my husband showed me this uh, uh, video of this place, particularly where the snow was over the island, and I looked inside, I saw these like tubular, tubular types of, um, you know, in like tunnels maybe, maybe tunnels. Uh, it was really curious because the the whole inside of it is made up of um, we we would probably look at it and say that's stainless steel is what it looks like to us and there's a lot of this material in there and and what I thought was really interesting is this is a very different 
technology that can change its shape it can change its form they can make things like you know little little pods out of it they can make whatever they need to to make out of this type of material i can't even say that it's like metal if you touch it It, it's just going to be very odd and very very foreign to us and this is something that's very 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 guarded inside of here there are beings in there i can see beings in there i can't see now the the tunnels seem to be quite large and and the beings seem you know i think pretty average looking but i don't really have a comparison that it's just the tunnels look big and the beings look small so oh, i, I want to say how are they dressed uh they look like they're just dressed in in uniform probably more like um uh, I see khaki and I see I see uh, camouflage I see boots um, so I'm gonna say it's probably inhabited by humans right now humans that really know what's going on humans that have been shown probably how to use this stuff so it, it, it does seem to be pretty well guarded the inside of it so this whole thing is like are yeah they, are they dressed do they, do they look to be like this i would say a lot of camouflage some khaki so they they're all in uniform so that's okay. the thing no one's dressed ca <clears throat> there's really nothing casual about the inside of this place um it feels like you have to have super high clearance to to be in there but i i think the material that i'm looking at is really interesting where it can uh, change form it's probably like an ai technology um the other thing is it's there's like this force field a magnetic force field around it and i didn't know any of this stuff and and i started looking at it and i give the information and then mike gives his information and we're like hey cool let's talk about this um it does make sense it is in that area and if there's one thing that i think i'm pretty good at feeling it's technology when i look at something and i feel technology that signature has gotten nothing but stronger and stronger inside of me so i'm pretty good about nailing it and magnetic a magnetic force so we're dealing with that as well um so it's a very curious place we'll see what happens to it it's very very guarded uh it has the ability like the technology and it has the ability to extend itself out you know as something of the form of lasers you know aim point shoot so uh, i wonder if it is also some type of a weapon well <clears throat> they say again that there is uh the remnants of a little weather station they'll give us that much um, they say the center of the island is ice-filled crater of an inactive volcano. Some scaries and one smaller island, uh, Larsoya, lie along its close, Neurosa, Neurosa, created by a rock slide in the late 1950s, is the only place to land, and that's the location of that weather station. As you can see, this is precisely where um that energy was transversing you know uh into thin air see this is right here uh he's he's been really watching this and you know you can see it's right here so it's below the tip of uh south um, south africa uh, south africa yes and it's before you get to the very very um most southernmost point of south america at some point in time, you know, again, uh, uh, this is on the bucket list not to go to this island, but definitely want to travel down to this area. We were talking about that Drake Passage and how it looks like something just something massive came and just plowed through uh, this area. And, and you could see the scraping on the bottom. You know, was Drake's passage really blocked off? Was Could you walk all the way on to, to Antarctica from South America at one point in time? Um, possibly, you know, Antarctica is kind of like our last, um, <clears throat> it's our last frontier, like <laughs> Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, I should say, Star Trek says. Um, and, you know, there is something really unusual about Antarctica, obviously. I found it strange that Norway claimed this. Um, you know, this the most isolated island in the world. 
It's 49 square kilometers or 19 square miles. That's pretty big in reality. I mean, it's not just a little rock. Uh, it's, it's nothing like, you know, just a tiny little insignificant island. This is substantial. Um, and, you know, when, when you look at it, it would be uh, an interesting place to, cre to create a lot of ex experiments and technology that other people, you know, couldn't really see easily. Nobody goes there. You can't get there. There's, there's cruise ships that don't even, you know, the cruise ships don't even go by this. It's, it's too far out of the way. Hmm, boy, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, you know, I, we, neither one of us like cold weather, but at the same time, boy, this is interesting. It would be like almost like if there was a cruise ship, well, that would be a good one to take uh, just to explore it. So you see where it is, and, and we, we were talking about the fact this is right where that is. So, you know, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Omnigma. There's something to this. There is absolutely something to this. Uh, and the other thing is, too, New Schwabenland, where the Nazi base was, is just keep going straight. And that's where it was. Well, is probably still, because as we know, you know, Germany lost World War II, but did the Nazis? N no, because this is, again, you're looking at where New Schwabenland was. This is, uh, we know this, this was a base. This was a base and they had interactions with beings that, you know, had advanced technology. I mean, the real government, the real government. You know, the German submarine fleet is proud of having built for the Fuhrer another part of the world, a Shangri-La, an impenetrable fortress. Yes, 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 right past where this island is so wouldn't you want to have some sort of post uh, again there's a lot that goes on that doesn't meet uh the eye so you can see they did expand out but i didn't want to go into a whole new uh new schwabenland uh, video but just at the same time with everything going on this island is situated right where we saw that and so uh, great find great catch cute penguins nice look you know the 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 one of the feelings that's the the strongest when i look at that is the this is suction it's like this suction and and i do feel that some type of magnetic energy and and i really cannot get over that and i know some people have said oh well you know it's just uh this one thing is creating um this energy field and it's it's no big deal and people are trying to blow it off like yeah well it's just some anomaly on the technology don't pay any attention to it yada yada, yada. no i i know what i feel and i feel it's technology it's big i do believe that the energy i felt earlier is still still stands it feels like they're being almost reckless in the sense where they're just turning this thing on and that's where we keep picking up and i'm still feeling that energy of down below into the ocean so we have a, a few different things going on here and it, it makes sense to me why it would show up on the radar and they're probably trying to figure out how to get it to not show up on the radar at this point do you see or sense any um reptilians or any sort of giants on that island or is this just an island where it's all um military personnel no there's Humans. definitely definitely reptilian energies there um could there be giants i want i want to say there's probably bloodline giants that are overseeing that are part part human because they can be here on this planet so it's curious that we found those uh reptilians yes humans yes it's a very interesting uh, area where they where they meet up and they're working together to um, work on technologies yeah so life in norway and again where's norway well no, norway is all the way up here of course you know explorers and of course the the history of uh the vikings and uh, leif erikson and all those and it, it's just fascinating and um 
you know, here you go, this little island. Thank you again so much, Omnigma. Again, please do. Any sort of deep dives, anything you want Cindy to remote view, um, you know, or to look at with her psychic abilities, um, please do share it in the comments. It, there's so many, I, I want to do little more specific ones like this, and, and we'll um, delve into maybe some topics that, you know, not everybody has heard of as, you know, hey, this was something uh, I was unaware of, and it, it, it does feel very, very important. So thank you so much for the comment, Enigma. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.